Swartvlei Wuchte Pass is an easy tarred pass on the N2 between Wilderness in the west and Sedgefield in the east, offering sweeping views over Swartvlei, a large semi-saline lake forming one of the many lakes in this region with a typical transparent onyx-colored water. The pass is 5,4 kilometers long and descends 115 meters to cross the estuary via a low-level bridge at sea level. The pass has several corners and some steep gradients up to 1 in 10, but the corners are nicely banked, making the road quite safe. Overtaking is difficult and most of the pass is controlled with double barrier lines. The pass starts at the crest of a long undulating climb adjacent to the guest farm Eagle's Nest and a furniture showroom. The descent is fairly easy initially as the pass negotiates an easy S-bend. After 750 meters, a sharper left-hand bend initiates the more serious part of the descent. This part of the garden route is richly forested and both sides of the road are covered in dense plantations, but the altitude does allow some lovely views of the dark waters of the lake from time to time. After the left-hand bend, the road straightens out towards the east and the gradient also eases off somewhat. Towards the end of this straight section, there is an intersection formed by a T-junction which joins the N2 from Pine Lake Marina to the north. This intersection has been the scene of several serious accidents over the years. Slow down and be wary of traffic joining in unexpectedly from the left. Approximately 500 meters after the intersection, there's a large and well-maintained view site and picnic area on the left. It's available only to eastbound traffic. This view site offers perfect views over the Swartvlei Lake, its estuary and the green forested mountains in the background. Another easy left-hand bend follows after the view site with a short sharp descent providing a long-range view of the N2 as it heads for Sedgefield in the far distance via the bridge over the estuary. Most of the pass has reasonably wide safety shoulders for most of its length including the section over the bridge itself. The final kilometer to the bridge has a neutral gradient and the pass ends at the bridge. It's only two kilometers from the bridge into Sedgefield where most amenities are available. Mm -hmm.